great size, uh, you know, good net front present, protects the puck well. He's going to have to be an important part of this team. Renwick and Cy LeClerc take the face off, sent in to the main zone, and we are underway here in Waterville. Black Bears and Wildcats. Donovan Houle in the neutral zone, pokes it forward over the blue line, sends it into the UNA 10. Colton Heward on the boards, trying to lock it up for the Wildcats. Now Houle gets his stick in there, as did Ben Poisson. Wildcats send it down ice, and an icing call right out of the gate here. Icing calls this year, brought to you by Dave's Mechanical Maintenance, the official heat pump provider of the Black Bears. So you got that line, the top line out there, with the New Brunswick line with Breen between the Nettos, and you've got uh, Brazil at one point, Arnold on the other. All right, here we go. The Nettos on the ice for the first time as Black Bears here in an exhibition. Josh and Brad with Lyndon Breen off the glass. New Hampshire clears the zone following the icing. Breen sends it across the neutral zone. Main re-enters, it's Nadeau, left wing side. Now behind the net, sends it over to Bradley. Uh, or to Josh as Bradley was checked on the boards. Big hit at the blue line, David Brazil stays on his skates. The Wildcat he ran into, Leclerc did not. Now picked up by Breen through the neutral zone. Breen hands it off to Bradley, Nadeau, shot save made. A missile of a wrister, top of the circles. Yeah, you can see, that's the one thing they talk about, you know, his Hockey IQ, his elusiveness, but everyone, when they first mentioned Bradley Neto, they talk about his shot. He's got an NHL shot. You just saw it right there. A wrist shot, got it off in a hurry. Nice pass by uh, Breen. And let's see. No, no icing. Icing. Uh, a off. save made by Muslick. Good save by Muslick. Held the short side. Puck back in the main zone. A whistle There's coming. going to be a penalty. A hook on somebody see who the first penalty goes to of the year. It's going to be on UNH. Looks like Luke Reed, the Nashville Predators draft pick, uh, discussing it with our officials today. But he's not going to the box. Nope, that's not that's not him. It's Morgan Winters. Morgan Winters, a, a hook, I believe, is what to call. So Winters sits down. No score. 18-20 to go first period. Our first version power play of the year and the Black Bears will send out Harrison Scott to take the draw with Niemo his former Bentley teammate both transfers from Bentley faceoff comes to Musilek in the UNH cre crease and the Wildcat goaltender sweeps it away Hansen tried to keep it in but offside yeah, right at the New Hampshire blue line Cole yes. Hansen back in this year for the Black Bears yeah with Scott Niemo and then you've got uh, on the points uh, you've got Hopkins from Penticton uh, help lead them to two championships back-to-back, -back, as did the Nadeau's and Antonacci's at the other point. Face-off will come down to the main end. Victor Osterman sticks side. Scott takes that draw again. Main controls this one. Luke Antonacci, the sophomore defenseman for the Black Bears, has the puck between the main circles. Now skates up to the Black Bear blue line. Two minutes into this hockey game, Antonacci hands it back. The Black Bear power play re-enters the New Hampshire zone. Niemo around the back of the net, but New Hampshire clears it out. The puck goes end over end into the main zone. Victor Ostman there to play it. Okay, so the first power play will be out there with the Nadeau's. Uh, you're going to have Breen. You're going to have Friel. Hopkins sends it up ice. Maine dumps it in. Josh Nadeau, right wing corner. There's Breen. Breen back to the point. Finds the Holt. Holt. Holt hands it off to Friel. Friel down low to Breen. Breen centering pass broken up by New Hampshire. They try to clear the zone. Kept in by Josh Nadeau. Holt now over to Bradley Nadeau, the left wing circle. Thomas Friel, right dot. Shot save made. Musilek, he'll hold on to that one. Clock stop. 17-10 to go here in the first period. No score. 51 on the power play for Maine. Yeah, good movement with the puck to Nadeau's. Uh, got it to Friel at the top of the right circle. Music with a good routine uh, short side save. But, again, good puck movement. That's key to a power play. Get rid of the puck quick. One touch passes if you can, and then rip it. Bradley Lindeau will take the face off. Main wins it. Back to Holt. Top of the zone. Finds Breen against the boards near side. 
Down low to Friel, now back out to Holt, right point. Brandon Holt skates to the center point position, now back to Breen, right circle. He's got to get rid of it, picked off by New Hampshire. Wildcats force it up ice, and they dump it in. 30 seconds to go on this first at power, power play for Maine. Black Bears behind their own net. They'll hustle up ice. Holt, now he'll pass it back to Breen. Breen with some speed. Finds Bradley the dough. Off to Josh. Back to Bradley one timer. Couldn't connect with it cleanly. A lot of flex on that stick, but didn't make a clean connection on the shot. Ten to go on the power play from Maine. New Hampshire chips it into the neutral zone. Turner for the Wildcats. Now sent in deep by Sweeney. And that will do it for the power play. Back to even strength. No score. 16 minutes, 15 seconds to go in this first period of play in Waterville. Exhibition hockey, Maine and New Hampshire. Each team, one exhibition game on the year. This is it. Brandon Chabrier, a puck on the near, uh, a check on the near side wall, trying to keep the puck in the zone. New Hampshire goes cross ice in their own end. They lose it, dumped in by Brandon Chabrier. Nolan Renwick, Donovan Hool, Ben Poisson, the forward line from Maine out there. But New Hampshire sends it over to the near side corner to Babbage. Babbage up ice, touch pass to Ring, Nick Ring, and the Wildcats dump it into the main zone. Black Bears wind it around the boards. There's Ben Poisson off his skate, still in the main zone, fighting to get it over the blue line. New Hampshire dumps it in deep. Wildcats have it below the main goal line, but a battle for the puck against the boards. Chabre and Hanson there for Maine. Now up the far side wall. Ben Poisson fighting for it. Scoreless hockey game here in the first 15 minutes. 15 seconds to go, puck in the main zone. Up to the blue line, scored it out of the zone. Here comes Hanson, two on one for Maine. Cole Hanson in, shot, save made. Musilek with the glove. Nice save there by the New Hampshire goaltender. Stops the clock with 15.07 to go here in the first. Uh, terrific save, a two on one. Uh, uh, sort of broke open it in the neutral zone and Hanson carried it down the right side uh, with Poisson coming down the left side and was able to rip it from the uh, bottom of the right circle or right about the face off dot. And, about a foot and a half off the ice and glove saved by Muslik. Used to play for the U.S. under-18 team. Face off in the New Hampshire zone. Black Bears battling for the puck. UNH winds it around the boards. Now sent back through the neutral zone. And into the main end. First five minutes off the clock here in Waterville. No score. New Hampshire with it in the main zone. Trying to set up a play. Reed can't keep it in the zone. Goes back to center ice, and New Hampshire has to reset. They hustle back. They keep control of the puck. Now they chip it in. But only for a moment over the main blue line. Now it ricochets back into the main zone. Quick pass up ice. Harrison Scott tips it into the New Hampshire end. Scott hustling on the end wall. In a puck battle there with Reed of UNH. Hustling in quickly. Black Bears looking for a centering pass. Couldn't connect uh, Thomas Friel with his intended target. Now Friel looking to get the puck back at the goal line from the goal line in front, but New Hampshire chips it into the neutral zone. Maine will have to reset. 14 minutes to go in this first period, no score. Maine and New Hampshire. David Fenson uh, played 25 games in goal for the uh, Wildcats last year, but Muselik did play in 12 games, and he shut out Maine, that nothing-nothing tie in, uh, at the Whitmore. Back to center ice, picked up by Holt, Maine brings it in. Black Bears, it's Josh Nadeau. Now a one-timer from Lyndon Breen off his stick. Save made Muselek. He's been tested a few times here in this first seven minutes of hockey here in Waterville. UNH trying to work it into the main zone over the Black Bear blue line. Now picked up by Maine. Here comes Breen again with some speed. Lyndon Breen stopping. Finds jo uh, Brad Nadeau. Backhander shot. Score in front. Brad to Josh. The Nadeau show shows up here in Waterville. Their first goal together. Bradley to Josh. 1 0 Maine with 13 17 to go here in the first period. That was just a perfectly executed three on two with speed. Breen. Broke down the lane, got it across to Bradley to the right of Muslik. Muslik, Bradley across to Josh. All Josh had to do was have his stick on the ice and tapped it into the empty net. Beautiful play. 1 0 Maine and Lyndon Breen part of that play as well. 
So I think we'll see the Nadeaus and Breen together a lot this year. 13 minutes to go here in the first period. 1-0 Maine. Maine just it seems quicker than New Hampshire, don't they? Yes, and UNH having a hard time keeping the puck out of their zone. A puck battle deep in the New Hampshire zone now. Donovan Hull and Nolan Renwick there. They send it around the far side boards. Chabrier keeps it in. Here's a shot from Ben Poisson in the left circle. Sails just a bit wide. Antonacci keeps it in. Antonacci tries to fire one towards the net. Now picked up by Poisson, right wing corner. He's battling for it. Antonacci keeps it in. Right wing half wall. Poisson, a backhander off the boards deep in the zone. Looking for Renwick. Nolan Renwick now fighting for it on the far side wall. Chipped into the neutral zone. Maine will have to reset. Black Bears pick up the puck at their own blue line. Antonacci up to Pabich. Reed Pabich in his sophomore season. He was fun to watch last year as a freshman. Into the neutral zone. Nope. UNH will skate back into their own end. Wildcats with puck possession here. 12 minutes to go in this first period. 1-0 Maine. Josh Nadeau the goal for the Black Bears. Dumped in to the main zone. Uselec stops it behind his own net. Looking for some help. New Hampshire up to their own blue line. Sent back in. Nick Cuffarelli couldn't get it through the neutral zone. Now the Wildcats send it into the main end. It's behind the Black Bear net. Picked up by Maine. They steal it away. Brandon Holt up ice with some speed. Holt comes in left wing side. Holt hands it off. Backhanded shot save made. Second chance save made. Holt found Niemo in the slot. Yeah, two shots, a backhander, and then he got the forehand on the rebound. Nicholas Niemo, the Bentley transfer for the Black Bears. Here's Scott in the neutral zone. Harrison Scott couldn't settle it down. New Hampshire has it. They fire it in. High puck in the air. Pop fly think, puck played I by... I think it's the first time Osman's touched the puck in this period. Yeah, Osman caught the pop fly and kept the play going here. 10.45 to go here in the first 1-0 Maine. A shot from Lyndon Breen, just a bit wide. Bradley Ledeau with the puck. Ledeau to Josh. Josh, one goal already. Stick handles between oh. the circles. Just lost a handle of, on the puck. And it's turned over to Connor Lovett. Yeah, Lovett UNH. made a nice play there, yeah. Lovett broke that up, or that was going to be another great A opportunity. Good but, back check by Lovett. Puck sent into the main zone. Bradley the dough with it. Skates to the neutral zone over center ice. He'll dump it in. Line change for the Black Bears. Maine hustling in. But New Hampshire able to go back to the neutral zone quickly. Almost stolen away from Kami. Now a big hit at center ice. Oh, Poisson with the hit. He can lay out some big checks. Yes, he can. He's a very physical player. We've seen that over the years. Hool. Lost a handle on it. New Hampshire dumps it in. Ostman behind his own net. Tries to wrap it around. Lost a handle. Picked off by UNH. And a backhander between the circles doesn't get to the net. Scary moment there for Victor Ostman. Yeah. He lost it behind the net and uh, went right to a New Hampshire player, but he wasn't able to get the centering pass. New Hampshire in their own end. Uh, now to the neutral zone. Devlin brings it in left wing side. His pass attempt goes right to the stick of Felix Trudeau. Trudeau uses the boards. Yeah, smart play by Trudeau. Get it out of danger. Back to neutral ice it goes. New Hampshire has it. Wildcats enter left wing side. Devlin tries to go across the blue line, and New Hampshire has to reset. Devlin with it again. He dumps it in. Hopkins picks it up for Maine. Hopkins lost a handle on it. Stolen away by Robert Cronin. Cronin skates in for UNH on the end wall. Now around the boards. Right wing half wall. Under nine to go. 8.50 to be exact here in this period. 1-0 Maine. First period of play here in Waterville. Exhibition game between Maine and New Hampshire. Black Bears force it out of the neutral zone. Reed Pabich comes in left wing side. Pabich looking for Harrison Scott with a pass through the slot. Scott in front. Free will save. Maine. Musilek. This line looks sharp together too. Here's Freel. Or Scott fighting for the puck. Now Freel has it, sends it back to the blue line to reset. Shot through some traffic. Musilic makes the save. He'll hold on to it. 1-0 Maine. 8.21 to go here in the first period of play. And we will take a timeout. Your At Bangor Savings Bank, 
We understand that to deliver the best banking experience possible, meeting people where they are matters. I'll be the judge of that. I'm That's how we fulfill our fundamental promise that you matter more. For starters, we offer first-class features like Android Auto, which you can play to deliver the best banking experience possible, meeting people where they are matters. Very high end. That's how we fulfill our fundamental promise that you matter more. We are more than just a bank. We are friends neighbors, and tireless advocates for the communities we serve. Wherever our customers are in their financial journey, we are there with them every step of the way. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. Here today, if you're on the radio side or the video side, John Shields along with Larry Mahoney, we thank you for tuning in or watching Maine Hockey Today, an exhibition matchup between Maine and New Hampshire. The Buffalo Wild Wings border battle underway. And it's 1-0 Maine here in the first period of play. 8.21 to go in this first period. Broken stick right off the faceoff for a Wildcat. Connor Sweeney lost a stick off the draw, but New Hampshire able to get the puck out of their own end, and they have control. And they send it into the main zone. Around the wall, comes up near side. Brad Nadeau and the Black Bears send it down ice. New Hampshire there to play it. Wildcats trying to redirect it in. They lost a handle on it. Over the blue line, dumps it in deep. David Brazil back to get it, the puck. Brazil, a junior, that C on his jersey, one of the two captains for this team. Here's Lyndon Breen, the other captain. He skates in left wing side. Breen shot Muselik with a save on his shoulder. Arnott trying to send one to the slot. Nice save there by Tyler Muselik, the New Hampshire Yeah, he's played goaltender. very well. I mean, he's the reason this is only a one nothing game right now. He's played extremely well. Puck at the main blue line. And now New Hampshire dumps it in. But the Black Bears have control with seven minutes to go in this first period. Grayson Arnott almost lost, a, lost the puck, but Maine fires it in deep to the New Hampshire zone. Wildcats behind their own net. Good part of a stick in the right face-off circle. That broken stick still out there. Marty Lavins trying to play the puck for New Hampshire and a whistle as it went out of play. Yeah, it's center right face-off. Main Hockey of the Black Bear Sports Network brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Visit your Chick-fil-A location in Bangor today. And by Old Town Family Dentistry, the official dentist of the UMaine Black Bears. Another timeout on the ice. We'll take another timeout as well here. You're watching Main Hockey, listening to Main Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. Renovating or building new, you'll find a wide selection of high-performing, energy-efficient, and beautiful windows and doors and at Hammond Lumber seating. Company. Your Hammond sales representative will walk you through the showroom displays and help you choose options to create a personalized, custom look. Free in-home measurement is available, and Hammond can deliver your order from any of their locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Bring your vision and enjoy better light and added security and energy savings with quality windows and doors from Hammond Lumber Company. When you think of your financial future, how do you see you? And how do you see your path to success? At University Credit Union, we've been helping Mainers visualize and achieve success for more than 50 years. So do you see yourself buying a home, saving for a wedding, or freeing yourself from debt? With thoughtful solutions, great rates, and a love for our communities, UCU is here for you. Visit us at ucumaine.com. When you 
think of your financial future? Back here in How do you see you? Maine and New Hampshire an exhibition matchup. One nothing Maine. Black Bears scoring the lone goal here in the first period. 6.25 to go in this first period of play. Josh Nadeau, the goal scorer in this one for Maine. Brandon Chabrier has the puck right now. He skates in to the New Hampshire end from the left wing side. Chabrier, a backhanded pass, looking to center it between the circles to Donovan Hull, but the puck didn't quite get there. But a good idea by Chabrier. There's a first save. Good save and tight on Conmey, the uh, draft pick of the Kings. Set up only about 10 feet in front. Good right pad save by Osman. Conmey didn't get much on it, but was able to Directed toward the goal, and uh, Osman had to make a reaction save. Make sure they don't catch him sleeping over there when you don't have to do a lot of work sometimes. You can get caught taking a nap. There's another shot save made. Ostman on that one. Now out to the blue line. Sweeney for New Hampshire. Lost a handle on it. Sent behind the main net. Black Bears trying to wind it around the boards. Kept in the zone by New Hampshire. They send it back in deep from the right point behind the main net. Off the wall. Here's a chance for Lovett. Shot blocked. That's I don't think that made its way. No, that was blocked by Chabrier, and that was a great opportunity for New Hampshire. He's all alone in front. Got a loose puck. All right, puck sent down ice into the New Hampshire end. Great uh, block there by, by Brandon Chabrier. Chabrier. Yeah, yeah. And, and actually, that, uh, he was walk ginger walking off the ice, so he, that may have hurt. Maine in the neutral zone. one nothing. Black Bears to score here in the first period. Maine one. New Hampshire nothing. Here's a shot. Right point. Blocked between the circles by the Wildcats. Jensen in there. He'll look after the puck. Well, he lost a handle. Wraparound attempt by Maine, but footing uh, the Black Bear behind the net. Fell, fell down. I think it was Thomas Frio looking to wrap the puck around the back of the net. Now New Hampshire to the neutral zone with it. Puck bounces up. Gloved down by Lavins. Marty Lavin skates in with it. He lost it. Brandon Holt fighting him for it. They go right to the boards. Lavin gets it back. Passes it out. Left circle. Shot save made. Victor Ostman. Alex Gagne with the shot. The junior defenseman. And New Hampshire captain. native. Yes. Yeah, he's the captain of the team. And again, last year led the... Uh, Wildcats and block shots with 70. All right, timeout on the ice. We'll take one as well. Our third and final timeout of this period. one nothing Maine here in Waterville. You're listening to Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. How do you think of your financial future? How do you see you? And how do you see your path to success? At University Credit Union, we've been helping Mainers visualize and achieve success for more than 50 years. So do you see yourself buying a home, saving for a wedding, or freeing yourself from debt? With thoughtful solutions, great rates, and a love for our communities, UCU is here for you. Visit us at ucumaine.com. Carhartt at Miller's Workshop and Brewer for brands that work. Carhartt, it works after hours too. We've got it. Miller's Workshop, Acme Road and Brewer for brands that work. Welcome back to Waterville, Maine. Colby College. There's a shot off the faceoff by Gagney of New Hampshire. Blocked by Maine. Maine clears their own zone. Lyndon Breed with a lot of speed through the neutral zone. He brings it in looking for Josh Nadeau. Right wing side. Maine hockey here on the Black Bear Sports Network. Exhibition game between Maine and UNH. It is the Buffalo Wild Wings border okay, battle. Okay, Gagne lost his stick. 1-0 Maine the score here in the first. 3.40 to go. Here's a backhanded chance by Lyndon Breed in front. Muselik makes the save. Tyler Muselik getting a lot of work in this exhibition. First period of play. As it is 1-0 man right now, Josh Nadeau, the lone goal scorer in this one. So far here in Waterville. Lin, uh, brought in by David Brazil. Brazil skates in, goes deep to the far side corner, lost his footing but stayed with the puck. Now trying to get some help. 
Goes back to the neutral zone. Picked up by Luke Antonacci. Antonacci up to Donovan Hull. Hull skates in. Had to hold on a moment as Nolan Renwick was deep in the zone, but he was able to tag up at the blue line. Here's Ben Poisson, left wing half wall. Poisson behind the net. Renwick, big check on the end boards. Now Ben Poisson, he has another check this time, left wing side. New Hampshire sends it down ice. And that will be an icing call on the Wildcats. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Pepper's Landing. Check out Pepper's Landing lunch, dinner, and gluten-free menu at pepperslanding.com or stop by one of their three locations in Old Town, Brunswick, and Rochester, New Hampshire. That's Pepper's Landing. Yeah, New Hampshire had a nice little go here the last couple minutes. Uh, Maine dominated the first 12 minutes, and New Hampshire's got a nice stretch. Looks like they got their legs are getting into it a little bit. Okay, but we're going to have a penalty. It's going to be interference on Maine. Felix Trudeau. So New Hampshire gets its first power play. Trudeau, the sophomore from Quebec. Played 28 games last year for the Black Bears. Of course, last year, Maine winning 15 games. Trudeau, eight points in those 28 games last year for the Black Bears. And he's in the box here. Maine will have their first opportunity on the penalty kill. one nothing. Black Bears, the score. 2.30 to go in this first period here in Colby College. Exhibition matchup. Maine and New Hampshire. Okay, you got Hopkins and Holt on defense. You got Renwick and Poisson up front for the Black Bears on the penalty kill. Colton Heward sends it in. You know, LeClaire, Devlin, their leading scorers from last year are on the power play with Conmey, the uh, highly touted freshman, 33 goal scorer in the, I don't know what this is, in the U.S. Junior Hockey League. I'm not sure what they're calling here. Steven Sardarian against the end boards for New Hampshire. You know, maybe a tie, just tie up, I guess. Although lost, you're not lost supposed side to. Of the puck. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, college hockey, uh, you can't tie the puck up. They'll tell you to keep moving it. If you don't move it, you'll get a two-minute penalty for delay of game. Well, not the case here. Just a whistle and a face-off in the main zone. And the Black Bears penalty kill fires it down ice. Brandon Holt into the New Hampshire end. Okay, you got Friel and Hansen here up front in this penalty killing unit. Heward has it on his stick for New Hampshire. Power play for the Wildcats. Another minute, 10 to go on the power play. UNH. Sardarian has it outside the right wing circle. Now he skates low in the right wing corner. Back to the blue line. Shot tipped high off the glass. New Hampshire can't get another shot attempt on the goal line. That was Antonacci with the clear. Liam Devlin for New Hampshire trying to put the puck on net. And Antonacci sends it down ice. 48 seconds to go on the power play for New Hampshire. Minute 15 to go in this period. 1-0 main of the score. Okay, First you period of play. Josh Neto and Breen out. Josh, the older of the two brothers. So this is, with, with Breen and Josh Neto out there, certainly shorthanded goal is a possibility. Kami fighting for the puck behind the main net. 20 seconds to go on the New Hampshire power play. Black Bears have it. They use the glass to try to clear it, but kept in. Took a weird bounce off the glass in New Hampshire, able to play the puck. Behind the main net, they wind it around the boards. Linder, right point, eight to go in the power play. Linder shot low to the ice, yeah, kicked off, over to the corner. Yeah, went off Antonacci's skate. Linder back at the blue line, Trudeau out of the box. He'll join the main bench. And we're back to five on five hockey for the final 30 seconds of this period. One nothing main the score. Black Bears up by ice, it's Breen at the main blue line. Breen into the neutral zone. Niemi comes in. Shot tipped high up into the netting behind the New Hampshire goal and out of play. Nicholas Niemi, the Bentley transfer with the, a chance there, but his shot blocked and goes out of play. Main hockey brought to you in part by the Bangor Aviator, the only hotel connected to the Bangor International Airport, offering spacious suites, free Wi-Fi, on-site dining, and meeting spaces online at bangoraviator.com. Face off in the main, uh, New Hampshire zone, excuse me. 1-0 Maine, the score. 13 seconds to go in the period. New Hampshire 
Wins the draw in their own end. They use the glass to try to clear it out. Kept in for a moment. Niemi tried to punch it in deep. New Hampshire sends it down ice. Grayson Arnott skates behind the main net, and that will do it for the first period of play. 1-0 Maine, the score after one. Yeah, entertaining. I mean, great pace. It did not look like an exhibition game. It looked like a Maine-New Hampshire regular season game. Terrific pace. I mean, dominated the first 12 minutes. If it wasn't for Music, they would have been up by three goals. Made some big saves. And then New Hampshire got into the, got more into the game, started to have more possession, got some uh, opportunities. Victor Austin made a couple saves. And uh, so we have a one nothing lead for the Black Bears on a goal by Josh Neto, set up by Breen and his brother Bradley. All right, the, the score, main one. New Hampshire nothing, as Larry just mentioned there, the lone goal of this one scored by Bradley Nadeau. Coming up in our intermission report, Larry, we're going to check in with Mike Violet yes. from 1160. The score, our newest station of the yeah, Black yeah, we're so Network. Yeah, we're so happy to have them on board. Uh, Mike does, uh, I think he does a game a week. Uh, he gets, he's the one person who probably doesn't mind that you can't play on Sunday because he actually gets a day <laughs> off. So uh, Yeah, much, more than one a week, maybe one a I know, day I sometimes. Know, I know, I know. Hardest working man in radio. Yeah, we're going to talk to Mike here about this partnership with the Black Bear Sports Network after this timeout. one nothing Maine after one. This is Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. For more than 70 years, Fish has been building snow... At Bangor Savings Bank, we understand that to deliver the best banking experience possible, meeting people where they are matters. That's how we fulfill our fundamental promise that you matter more. We are more than just a bank. We are friends, neighbors, and tireless advocates for the communities we serve. Wherever our customers are in their financial journey, we are there with them every step of the way. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. Renovating or building new, you'll find a wide selection of high-performing, energy-efficient, and beautiful windows and doors at Hammond Lumber Company. Your Hammond sales representative will walk you through the showroom displays and help you choose options to create a personalized custom look. Free in-home measurement is available, and Hammond can deliver your order from any of their locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Bring your vision and enjoy better light and added security and energy savings with quality windows and doors from Hammond Lumber Company. Achieving greatness requires setting clear goals and maintaining the proper work necessary to see them through. Success does not happen overnight. It is about a renewed sense of vision, a vision of what you want to be. Game changers see a window of opportunity and seize it. Change requires strength. That's why we've partnered with Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson offers a product you can trust, unparalleled service, and the team will be with you from the beginning of the project to installation and beyond. If you're looking for a renewed sense of vision, go with Renewal by Anderson of Greater Maine, the official replacement window and door company of the Black. Black Bears. Carhartt. It works after hours, too. We've got it. Miller's Workshop. Acme Road in Brewer. For brands that work. Carhartt. Clothing that works as hard as you do. We've got it. Miller's Workshop. For brands that work. And stay after. The Black Bears have teamed up with some great Orono Old Town businesses. Be sure to stop by our community partners like Old Town Bowling Center, Orono IGA, Downtown Old
uh, a, a big part of 1160 to score? Well, we do, uh, you know, uh, a lot of local play-by-play. -play. In fact, I don't think anybody does anymore. We're pretty much at a game a week during the fall. Had a Winslow Brewer football game this afternoon. We'll have a field hockey game Monday between York and Skowhegan. So we call ourselves the place for local sports. And if you're going to call yourselves that, you'd better live up to what you say you are. Yeah, you guys definitely do that. And it's uh, it's great to see and listen in. And uh, and we're happy to have you here on the Black Bear Sports Network. Well, and we're delighted to jump on, John. Appreciate you uh, asking me, which you did during the summer when it was about 90 degrees outside. <laughs> but, you know, we're trying to broaden our appeal. And one of the things we've done is gone all video as well. We also video stream every game that we do. And in order to make our imprint a little bit bigger, bringing University of Maine sports on, hockey, football at some point and also women's basketball just makes us bigger and better and to be associated with the likes of you oh, is something that we are very proud to be a part of so we appreciate it very much and we're happy to be a part of it yes we're happy to have you talking to mike violet from 1160 the score uh, central maine's sports station and mike it's always fun when you have players who played high school sports in maine make their way to orno yes we 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 love those kinds of guys and it's um, part of the reason that we want to be on board. We have, of course, on the women's basketball team, J.C. Christopher from Skowhegan, whose games we have done. I have done all four years of her in high school. I remember the first time I saw her in her freshman year, the first game. She was the best player on the floor that game. And every game that we ever did with J.C. Christopher, she was always the best player on the floor. So it's another reason to have appeal. And, you know, with the Maine hockey team, it's just Maine hockey. There is such a, a, his, a, a heritage there that we just want to be a part of. And the Black Bears, Ben Barr's got them coming back. And we can see after this terrific first period, tons of talent on this team. Mike, you've seen a lot of games over the years at every level. Give us your thoughts here on that first pair. You just did a little bit there, but what else are you thinking? Uh, very crisp. Um, I have not seen Maine play in person for a few years, so the speed of the game is really what caught my eye. Uh, I was very impressed by both teams, but specifically Maine's ability to break out of their own end, get the puck out of the zone very quickly. The passing in close in the zone, Maine had several opportunities. It's one nothing. It could be 2 3 nothing. A very good first period by the UNH goaltender. And, yeah. you know, Victor Osman at the other end, uh, for the most part, uh, might need some five-hour energy between periods because he didn't have a whole lot of action. That's what I told Larry during the period. you got to be careful sometimes when that happens to stay on your yeah. toes. But he's a veteran guy in, in between the pipes, which is going to be critical for the Black Bears Oh, this no year. question. He is a top-flight goaltender. Larry and I have had this discussion because he's a regular on my show that I do every weekday. By the way, I'll get a shameless plug-in yes, for nope, that opening that was drive my next thing to do. from <laughs> 7 to 9. Larry's on my show. So we talk a lot of UMaine hockey, obviously, and Victor Osman, we know how good he is. He is a top-flight goalkeeper. And when you have that back there, John, as you well know, it just makes everything easier because if you do make a mistake, you know you've got your guy back there to bail you out. It's not a crutch that you want to use, but you know he's there. Yeah, and, and that's always a great thing, especially when you have young uh, defensemen yes. on the blue line, too. Um, talking to Mike Violet from 1160, the score. You mentioned your morning show. You guys do a ton of local high school games, video and, uh, and yep. audio, as, you men as we mentioned. The morning show, give us the times Opening again. Opening drive is what it's called. Nothing uh, original there. <laughs> uh, from 7 to 9, just a two-hour live talk show um, where we talk about local sports a lot. Obviously, have coaches on, but we have the likes of Larry Mahoney of the Bangor Daily News. Travis Lasarczyk on. Travis yeah. Lasarczyk from the Press Herald. Chad Finn of the Boston Globe is a regular on the show, along with Dave Peck, who normally, yeah. who used to be at ABC7 Fox 22, is now down in Connecticut. Dave's an old friend of mine from his Bowdoin days. And we mix and match with coaches. We will occasionally have a player on. We are going to start a player of the week a play of the week with our video enhancement now so we're 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 as local as we can be but you know what we're in a crazy area with the red sox and the bruins the patriots and the celtics as you know john and people want to hear about that people want to talk about that people want to text me about that i'm sure they're texting me right now as we stand here <laughs> about the patriots game tomorrow but we're in a crazy area not only regionally with the four teams we have with this university of maine program everything's coming back up in order we got new facilities and everything and we've got all this local sports so 
I live in the tour department of life, John, and I don't want to live anywhere else. It's a, it's a fun place to live. Indeed. So, Central Maine, 1160 AM on the radio dial for the score. Also, can get, people can get you anywhere digitally. Exactly. CentralMainSports.com is where you can watch all of our live video streaming. We also archive every game in the vault there. Free, no subscription, no credit card necessary. You can download our score app, listen to my show, listen to the audio of our broadcast, and also at 1160thescore.com you can watch. So all kinds of platforms nowadays. Mike, it's been a while since we've seen each other. It's great to see you. We go way, were, we, we go way you, back. I think you were nine years old the last time I saw you hanging around with your old man. Yeah, yeah, nine years old, running the board for you on a game, I'm sure. <laughs> Good to see you, John. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. It's Mike Violet from 1160 The Score. We're thrilled to have 1160 The Score, part of the Black Bear Sports Network. one nothing Maine here in Waterville Exhibition Hockey. We'll get you ready for the second period after this timeout. You're listening to Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. The fall home sale is on at 304 Stillwater Avenue Furniture in Bangor. The furniture you've been wanting is now on sale. We're making way for new brands of upholstered furniture. Select floor models are now marked down up to 50% off. Save on sofas, love seats, chairs, and recliners. Buy an entire set and save even more. Plus, you'll find big markdowns in our upstairs clearance section. One of a kind and limited quantities. So don't delay. Come to the fall home sale at 304, where you'll always get more. When it comes to cleaning up the competition, Bananas has you covered. But when it comes to cleaning his own home, Bananas turns to Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Nice job, Bananas. Hi, I'm Norm Bouchard for Bouchard Clean and Restoration. Go Black Bears! Bananas, miss a spot. Think of your financial future. How do you see you? And how do you see your path to success? At University Credit Union, we've been helping Mainers visualize and achieve success for more than 50 years. So do you see yourself buying a home, saving for a wedding, or freeing yourself from debt? With thoughtful solutions, great rates, and a love for our communities, UCU is here for you. Visit us at ucumaine.com. your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. Dairy farmers care about the health of our communities and planet. Nationwide, the dairy industry has set a goal to be carbon neutral or better by 2050. Maine dairy farmers are doing their part by using management practices like turning cow manure and food waste into electricity, using no-till crop production to promote carbon sequestration and soil health, and doing research in cow comfort, nutrition, and health at UMaine Witter Farm to help meet the goal. When it comes to college sports, our biggest advantage is playing at home. When it comes to our own homes, we call the official home team of the Black Bears. The Emily Ellis team at Berkshire Hathaway. And Harvey Goslin at CMG Financial. When I needed a power play to find my home, I called the home team. Call us today for all your real estate needs. We will be shooting for your goals. And we donate to the Alpha Fund on every sale. Tell, Tell us Bananas, bananas sent you. you. The mad dash to the school bus. The client presentation. Ballet. Hockey practice. And band rehearsal. 
followed by, ouch, who has time to dash out for groceries? Don't worry, you've got this in the bag. With Hannaford to go pick up and delivery, the Dairy farmers care about the health of our communities and planet. Nationwide, the dairy industry has set a goal to be carbon neutral or better by 2050. Maine dairy farmers are doing their part by using management practices like turning cow manure and food waste into electricity, using no-till crop production to promote carbon sequestration and soil health, and doing research in cow comfort, nutrition, and health at UMaine Witter Farm to help meet the goal. When it Maine's destination for Southern barbecue. Have a good one. Welcome back to Waterville, Maine, Colby College Exhibition Hockey here. The Buffalo Wild Wings border battle. Second period underway, 1-0. Shot off the post. New Hampshire with an opportunity quickly in the second period. And off the post, Osman out of the net. And that one clinging off the post. Here's another shot from the blue line. Save made. Victor Ostman. And the clock did not start rolling, so we'll have to take some time off, but a quick start to the second period. 1-0 Maine here on the Black Bear Sports Network. John Shields with you this afternoon and joined by Larry Mahoney here in this exhibition game. Boy, what a let off for Maine right there. Bad turnover. Victor Osman out of the net. Uh, just an open net waiting to be picked, waiting to be have a puck deposited in it. And luckily for the Black Bears, Marty Lavins hit the post. But there was not, there was nobody anywhere near the net. The net was wide open. And Lavins hit the right post to the right of uh, Victor Osmond. Osmond stick side as he defends the goal to our right in this period. Tyler Musilek in New Hampshire defending the goal to our left in this second period of play. New Hampshire brings it in, shot tipped high, stays in, stays in the rink, went up in the air behind the net and lands in the Colby logo behind the main net. Puck in the left wing corner. Now a battle for it in that corner. Back to the blue line for New Hampshire. Reed has it. Reed dumps it in near side. Main defenseman. David Brazil back, some pressure on the boards, and Maine able to clear the zone. Well, that was a Breen with a nice play. He reached out. He had his stick, only one hand, the right hand on the stick, and he was able to uh, sweep the puck out of the zone. New Hampshire back the other way. A shot save made by Ostman. Leclerc with the shot. Now Maine up to their own blue line. Friel and Scott into the neutral zone. Harrison Scott lost his footing and the puck. Brought back in by New Hampshire. Puck in front of the Maine net. And Brandon Chabrier, sophomore defenseman for the Black Bears, clears it out. Friel tries to bring it into the New Hampshire zone. Maine able to play it off the boards and keep it in as New Hampshire went cross ice with the puck. Now chipped in behind the UNH goal. Harrison Scott for the Black Bears in there to fight for it. Back up top of the left circle. The Emmy settles down, cuts towards the net. Shot in front, save made by Musilek, covering it up in the crease. Stops the clock. With 17.59 to go, two minutes into this second period, 1-0 Maine the score on that Josh Nadeau goal from the first. Yeah, much more even now in the first period. It was all Maine for the first 12 minutes. Then New Hampshire got a foothold in the game, had some good chances, and now uh, pretty much back, back and forth. Uh, Maine got a let off uh, there when Lavin's missed the empty net uh, for New Hampshire, and then Maine come down. Reed Pavich with an opportunity right there. Uh, slicing in across a low slot, saved by Muslik. Face-off coming in the New Hampshire zone. Cole Hansen will take it from Maine. Puck on the boards, left wing side. 
Now Trudeau a shot, but a whistle in that left wing circle. New Hampshire player on the ice. That's going to be a trip on Maine, I believe. Nick Jensen was down, and the Black Bears will send a player to the penalty box. Uh, Pabich. Reed Pabich makes the skate over there. Pabich, 31 games last year. Seven points, two goals, five assists in those 31 games in his freshman season. Looking to increase those numbers this year in his sophomore campaign, but he'll send the next two minutes in the box. It is a versant power power play for the Wildcats. Ring with it, top of the right wing circle. Ring uses the board, sends it back to Linder at the blue line for the Wildcats. Linder back to Ring. Ring, pass attempt across the slot. Knocked down by Maine, but still in the main zone. Here's Brazil. He's got some room, finds some space, and clears it out. Good play on the penalty kill there by David Brazil. Yeah, did a 180 and was able to throw it past the defenseman at the far post. I mean, at the far, uh, far, far blue line. New Hampshire back in. Now knocked off a UNH stick. Grayson Arnott just fires that right out of the zone. New Hampshire back on, uh, back in their own end. They pick up the puck. Reed to the blue line. Goes cross ice through the neutral zone. Come the Wildcats. They enter the main end. A minute five on their power play. one nothing. Black Bears the score here in the second period. Maine fires it down ice again. The Black Bear penalty kill sends it into the UNH end. 55 to go on the New Hampshire power play. Reed skates through the Colby C at center ice here in Waterville. Dumped in to the main zone. Brandon Holt winds it around the boards. Colton Heward keeps it into the blue line for New Hampshire. Puck comes back to him. Heward looking, looking, now sends a backhander across the blue line. Puck between the circles now. Centering pass and nobody there for New Hampshire to connect on the puck. Here's Donovan Hool. Hool to the neutral zone, fighting Heward for the puck. Heward pulls up with it, 25 to go on the power play for New Hampshire. Up to Con, uh, to Kami, the king draft pick for UNH. They bring it in. Sardarian, net front, can't pull the trigger. Pressure from Brandon Holton. He clears it down ice. Nine seconds to go on the power play for UNH. Maine caught a break there. Obviously, uh, it looked like an obvious trip. Maine would have been two men down, but it was not called. Penalty over for Maine. Reed Pabich back on the bench. We're back to even strength. 1 0 Maine, 15 45 to go here in the first. LeClerc blocked a puck for New Hampshire. He goes off the ice gingerly. Maine back the other way. Harrison Scott looking for the centering pass. Collides with Musilic. Play continues. Now Scott looking for a bouncing puck behind the New Hampshire net. Lyndon Breen fighting for it. One of the main captains trying to pull the puck off the boards, and he does. Wins the puck battle. Breen skates far side wall. Now finds Brazil. Brazil skates below the left dot. Thought about pulling the trigger, but he'll skate behind the New Hampshire bench. Brazil hands it off. Brazil finds Hopkins, Ryan Hopkins. Back out to Brazil, left point. Brazil trying to go down low to Breen below the right wing dot. Pass broken up. Breen gets the puck, but not in, a, in an angle to shoot. Sent back down low to Breen. Breen, one touch pass to Ben Poisson. Poisson looking for Hopkins between the circle. Yeah, right in the skates. Good opportunity, but uh, pass was right, right in the skates. Morgan Winters clears it out for New Hampshire as well. Back in the main end we go. New Hampshire with the puck. Shot pad save made. That was Connor Sweeney, Jr. for yeah, New Hampshire. Yeah, good opportunity. A one-timer. Uh, uh, Donovan Uhl coughed the puck up there, and it wound up uh, with a good scoring chance. Puck sent to the neutral zone by New Hampshire. Played by Maine, though. Donovan Uhl dumps it back in. 14-20 to go here in this second period. 1-0 Maine. Buffalo Wild Wings border battle here in Waterville. Exhibition hockey at Colby College this year between Maine and New Hampshire. Puck flipped in to the main zone. Black Bears fighting for it. Felix Trudeau on the boards. Taken away by Ring of New Hampshire. Ring lost the handle at the blue line. Maine trying to pick it up and go the other way with numbers, but kept in. What a play by Ring. He, the was, neutral he, zone. he had yeah. fallen down, and Maine was about to break, and he gave a look. Get back to his skates and you know get a piece of it and you know again uh, prevent an odd man rush. Yeah, he's able to keep that puck within a few feet of the new of the blue line and then yep. 
Send it back in the main end. Great play by Ring of UNH. Nick Ring, freshman forward from Massachusetts, played in Sioux Falls at the USHL last year. New Hampshire trying to dump it in, picked up by Brandon Holt. Holt up to Niemi. He skates in at the dot. Some speed, Niemi. Puts a puck on that, sails wide on the near side post. Blue line pass by the Black Bears, broke it up by Cuffarelli. Nick Cuffarelli of New Hampshire clears the zone. Maine sends it back in, though. Under 13 to go in this second period. 1-0 Maine. Wildcats trying to bring it into the main end, but stolen away by Brandon Holt. The Black Bears Holt through the neutral zone. Shot save made. He skated right between the circles and put one on net to Tyler Musilek, who made the save. Back at the Black Bear blue line, Lyndon Breen picks it up. Here comes Breen. Breen skates in. Shot save made. Musilek. The Nadeau's out there with Breen at the blue line. Here's David Brazil. Brazil up to Breen. Breen trying to slide it across the zone, but tipped by Gagne of UNH. Wildcats kick it into the neutral zone. Hustling over to play the puck. Is Brody Nobes hands it off. To Brad Nadeau. Nadeau over to Breen, but it ricochets back to the neutral zone. Yeah, Breen, Breen was the victim of that. It was a hit, and, I, you know, he, he, it, uh, he was hurt for a second. That was, that was scary. Whistle on the ice, 11.54 to go here in period number two. Main one, New Hampshire nothing in this exhibition matchup. Teams will get a line change. They're going to come out and shovel the ice as Cam Gendron will go to the box. A main power play after this timeout. one nothing main here in the second. This is Black Bear Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. The fall home sale is on at 304 Stillwater Avenue Furniture in Bangor. The furniture you've been wanting is now on sale. We're making way for new brands of upholstered furniture. Select floor models are now marked down up to 50% off. Save on sofas, love seats, chairs, and recliners. Buy an entire set and save even more. Plus, you'll find big markdowns at our upstairs clearance section. One of a kind and limited quantities. So don't delay. Come to the fall home sale at 304, where you'll always get more. When it comes to cleaning up the competition, Bananas has you covered. But when it comes to cleaning his own home, Bananas turns to Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Nice job, Bananas. Hi, I'm Norm Bouchard for Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Go Black Bears! Bananas, miss a spot. Exhibition Hockey, Maine and New Hampshire here. It's our Buffalo Wild Wings border battle. 1-0 Maine, the score here. Second period, 11.54 to go. And the Black Bears back on the Versant power, power play. They'll send out their top power play unit. Brandon Holt has the puck. Here's Bradley Nadeau at the right point to Holt. Holt skates down the boards near side. Brad cross ice down low to Breen. Breen below the goal line. Now he'll send it back out to Holt, right point. Brandon Holt back to Lyndon Breen. Breen trying to fire it down low to Brad Nadeau, and New Hampshire clears it out the first 30 seconds of this power play off the clock. 1-0 Maine the score here, second period. Black Bears with a man advantage here in Waterville. Maine brings it in. Shot high, Musilic jumping, trying to get his shoulder on it, but... It goes into the left wing half wall area. Now Thomas Friel trying to keep it in, but Brad Nadeau does at the blue line. He fires it cross ice looking for Holt. Holt forced out of the zone. New Hampshire trying to steal the puck away. It's Marty Lavins with some pressure in the neutral zone on Brendan Holt, but now Holt has it and has some space and sends the puck to Thomas Friel. Friel in the neutral zone, cross ice to Brad Nadeau. First round draft pick. Has it poked off his stick by Marty Levins again. And 45 to go on this power play for the Black Bears. Trying to put something together here in the final 40 seconds now. Maine dumps it in. Donovan Houle, left wing half wall. Picks up the puck. Houle winds it around the boards. 
Out to the right point. David Brazil. Brazil finds Ben Poisson. Poisson outside the right circle. Saucer pass back to Brazil, center point. Down low, here's Poisson below the dot. Can't pull the trigger, right wing side. Now a one-timer sails wide by Grayson Arnott. Ten to go on the power play. Ben Poisson keeps it in. Nolan Renwick slides it over to Arnott. Puck is loose, left wing circle, and the Wildcats able to clear it down ice in the final two seconds of that power play. And they kill off the main power play do the New Hampshire Wildcats to keep this a 1-0 game. Main one, New Hampshire nothing. Back to even strength. Renwick in, right wing half wall. Behind the New Hampshire net, bouncing over a loose stick that was on the ice. Now back to the neutral zone. Luke Antonacci using the boards at center ice to send it into to the New Hampshire zone just over the blue line, but Reed of UNH sends it back the other way. Back to Antonacci, now it slides into the main zone. Black Bears back to neutral ice. Devlin of New Hampshire picks up a loose puck. Centering pass behind his intended receiver. Of Alex Gagney and Maine comes back the other way. Here's Harrison Scott. Shot save made with the pad by Tyler Musilek. Net front under nine to go here. Second period. one nothing Maine. Black Bears centering pass. In the slot, but Felix Trudeau couldn't connect with that one to put a puck on net, and UNH clears it out. They dump it into the main zone, do the Wildcats. Brandon Chabrier and the Black Bears have control of the puck. Chabrier up to Hansen. Cole Hansen finds Trudeau. Trudeau trying to go back to Hansen, who was cutting towards the net front, but took him two attempts. Yeah, it was a good play by the defenseman. Uh, New Hampshire defense was able to get a stick in there that impeded the progress of the puck. Nobes sends it in deep for Maine. Net front, Trudeau shot, point blank save made by Musilek. Here's Brazil back in the neutral zone. Felix Trudeau, I'm sure we'll want that one back. Puck in the neutral zone, 7.55 well, it's a good, to go. It's a good read by Musilek. Really, he's played out, he's been brilliant. He's, been, he's played terrific, but you know, he read that he read that perfectly. Was it, he saw uh, that basically uh, Trudeau only had one 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 thing he could do, and that's go to try to go low uh, glove side. He was able to flash out the left pad and make that save. But he's certainly been the you know he's been the star of the game so far. Game brought to you in part by the law offices of Joe Bornstein. Injured in an accident, dial 207. Call Joe for a free case evaluation online or online at joebornstein.com. 7.40 to go here, second period. Maine hockey on the Black Bear Sports Network. 1-0 Maine. Josh Nadeau, the goal in the first period. The difference in this one, back to even strength. Maine sends it cross ice. Bradley Nadeau pushing it forward in the New Hampshire zone, looking for his brother Josh. Down the puck, back to the blue line. Brandon Holt fighting for it. Brad trying to send it in deep, but it ricochets high off the glass. Stays in the zone in the New Hampshire end, but not very deep, and the Wildcats have an opportunity to reset. Here's Lavins back to the neutral zone. Stolen away off his stick by Lyndon Breen. Breen, the main captain, fighting for the puck on the boards. Now some help from Ryan Hopkins. Main back to the New Hampshire blue line. Brad Nadeau. Trying to send it in deep to the New Hampshire zone. Black Bears do for a moment. Donovan Hull steals it away in the neutral zone. Looking to go to Nolan Renwick. But right back to New Hampshire. Big hit by Hull on Winters. Donovan Hull laying out a check. Hull at center ice from Brandon Holt. Ricochets back to UNH at the blue line. Now Nolan Renwick has it at the main blue line. Settles things down up to Hopkins. Hopkins over center ice. Fires it in. Muselik behind his net. The New Hampshire goalie winds it back up the far side wall. 6.20 to go and an icing on New Hampshire. I make, make it 6.18 remaining here in the second period. Maine 1, UNH nothing. John well, Shields with you on the Black Bear Sports well, Network. Both goalies have been outstanding. Mahoney. I mean, uh, Victor hasn't been nearly as busy as Muselik, but uh, Victor's made saves when he's had to. This game... Could be a 5-4 game, but uh, both goalies uh, are really, well, I don't know about 5-4. New Hampshire hasn't 
I don't think they've had four great chances. You know, they had one that they should have scored, missed an open net. But, um, you know, it's been, a, it's been entertaining. I think people got their money's worth. Puck deep in the New Hampshire zone off the faceoff in the UNH end. Maine at the blue line trying to dump it in deep. Thomas Friel attacking the puck now as it goes in the right wing corner. Friel and Nicholas Niemo over there. A penalty on New Hampshire. UNH penalty with 5.55 to go here in the second period. Maine won. New Hampshire nothing. It's Maine Hockey on the Black Bear Sports Network and on our newest station, AM 1160, the score here in Central Maine. Well, we love being here. With Thank you, folks, for picking us up. Um, again, great sports area, Central Maine. Uh, the whole state of Maine really is. Uh, we, we love sports up here. Yes, we do. Time out on the ice. We'll take one, two. One nothing Maine here in the second. You're listening to Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. Renovating or building new, you'll find a wide selection of high-performing, energy-efficient, and beautiful windows and doors at Hammond Lumber Company. Your Hammond sales representative will walk you through the showroom displays and help you choose options to create a personalized, custom look. Free in-home measurement is available, and Hammond can deliver your order from any of their locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Bring your vision and enjoy better light and added security and energy savings with quality windows and doors from Hammond Lumber Company. Welcome back to the Buffalo Wild Wings border battle matchup between Maine and New Hampshire. Exhibition style in Waterville, Maine at Kobe College. Beautiful arena here. But today, the Black Bears and Wildcats playing on this ice at Colby. Time now for a versant power power play. Black Bears back with the man advantage. Here's Holt. Face off in the New Hampshire zone. Holt with the puck on the near side wall. Holt sends it in deep. Puck on the end boards. Green and the, the Doe's fighting for it. Now it's send, uh, sent down ice by New Hampshire. Obviously, no icing as UNH. Short-handed, Josh Nadeau hustling back to pick up the puck. He sends it cross ice to Thomas Friel. Friel hands it off to Breen. Breen skates in over the blue line. Breen pulls back up. Lyndon Breen high in the zone, trying to send a pass through some New Hampshire skates. Down low. Stay, uh, kept in the zone by Maine. Now back to the blue line. Here's Holt. Brandon Holt, top of the right wing circle. Now Friel. Friel lost a handle on the puck. Hustles over to get it back. And New Hampshire clears the zone. 55 seconds to go on the power play. Main one. New Hampshire nothing. Second period. Period clock has 440 remaining. New Hampshire clears it out again after Maine sent it back in momentarily. David Brazil for Maine. Skates back in his own zone. Brazil being shadowed by a Wildcat. Now he goes up ice. David Brazil with some speed comes in. He'll slow things up, go back to the blue line. Finds Ben Poisson. Poisson, Nolan Renwick shot. Save made, Musilek. Here's Arnott. Renwick, Brazil. Left point, passing it over to Poisson. Down low to Arnott. Arnott found Renwick. And Renwick didn't have a shooting angle, so went back to Poisson. Puck up in the air. Poisson now settles it down. Here's Brazil again. Center point at the blue line. Back to Arnott, left wing circle. His pass down low, tipped out of play. One second left on the power play. Yeah, good puck movement, but not enough shots, John. Too many, too many passes on the perimeter. Just well, get it, get it, get some separation and rip it and crash the net. Oh, check that power play over. 3:55 to go here in the second period. Back to even strength after the puck going out of play, but a face-off in the New Hampshire zone. one nothing Maine the score. Black Bears with the lead. Harrison Scott will take this face-off for Maine against Connor Sweeney of New Hampshire. 
Three minutes and 55 to go in this second period. The lone goal back in the first from Josh Nadeau. Here's Chabrier. Over to Scott. Scott brings it in. Little help. Now the puck picked up by Maine. And the right wing circle by Niemo, but cleared out by New Hampshire. Reed and the Wildcats send it into the main end. Now a battle behind the Black Bear goal line on the end wall. Gendron coming in. Cam Gendron for New Hampshire. The senior for the Wildcats. New Hampshire native. Now a shot on net, and Ostman makes the save. Slow rebound in front of him, so he decides to cover it up and stop the clock with three minutes and 12 seconds to go. Final timeout of this third period. We'll take it as well. Maine one, New Hampshire nothing. You're listening to Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. I, at Bangor Savings Bank, we understand that to deliver the best banking experience possible, meeting people where they are matters. That's how we fulfill our fundamental promise that you matter more. We are more than just a bank. We are friends, neighbors, and tireless advocates for the communities we serve. Wherever our customers are in their financial journey, we are there with them every step of the way. Dairy farmers care about the health of our communities and planet. Nationwide, the dairy industry has set a goal to be carbon neutral or better by 2050. Maine dairy farmers are doing their part by using management practices like turning cow manure and food waste into electricity, using no-till crop production to promote carbon sequestration and soil health, and doing research in cow comfort, nutrition, and health at UMaine Witter Farm to help meet the goal. Black Bear Sports Network brought to you by the Black Bear Inn, conveniently located near the UMaine campus and next to the interstate. The Black Bear Inn is the perfect resting spot for game day visitors. Book now at blackbearinorino.com. Maine hockey here in Waterville. Exhibition hockey between Maine and New Hampshire. one nothing the score. Black Bears with the lead. Second period, three minutes, 12 seconds to go. Buck sent around the wall. Now... In left wing side, here's a shot, save made. Musilek looking behind him. No, just making sure he had that puck tucked under his arm. On a nice opportunity there by the Black Bears rushing into the New Hampshire zone. Reed Pabich on that one. Yeah, that was a nice play by Scholey, the uh, late uh, late uh, addition to the roster uh, from Minnesota. Nice, uh, A nice tap out of the zone to set up a two-on-one and then the shot. Again, Musilek held the short side. Uh, the defenseman took the uh, potential pass recipient, which he's supposed to do in that two-on-one situation. And uh, the shot was a good shot, plenty on it, but uh, music short side save, nice save. Puck behind the New Hampshire goal here. 2.55 to go. Second period, 1-0 Maine the score. Wildcats now have it at their own blue line. They dump it into the main zone. Hustling down ice, New Hampshire. After the puck, Cole Hansen using the glass to flip it through the neutral zone and in to the New Hampshire end. Big hit at center ice as New Hampshire tries to come back the other way. May now a helmet popping off a New Hampshire player in the neutral zone after a collision. That was Ro Rowan Walsh, freshman from New Hampshire, Andover, New Hampshire, losing his helmet. So he'll pick up that piece of equipment and yeah, he ran into Reed Pabich, and Pabich uh, wound up jarring the uh, helmet off, you know, with a good uh, shoulder check. Well, check that. Brendan Fitzgerald, a freshman defenseman from Massachusetts. So Fitzgerald losing his helmet. Played in the USHL. Cedar Rapids before coming to New Hampshire. He is okay after losing that uh, piece of protection. Yep. 2.25 to go, second period. Maine one, New Hampshire nothing. Face off in the UNH zone. Black Bears keep it in. Only for a moment, New Hampshire sends it down ice. Turner dumps it in. Arnott back in the main zone to get it. The Wildcat Turner fighting for it. Now comes up to Babbage. Shot from the left point through the, the slot. Ospin may have got a pad on that one, but it comes to the near side corner. 
Two minutes to go. Centering pass for New Hampshire in front. Nobody there for the Wildcats. Picked up by the Black Bears. Up to Josh Nadeau. He skates in. Lost a handle after crossing the blue line. Now Brazil at center ice with it. Brazil to Breen. Breen fires it into the New Hampshire zone. The Nadeaus track it down, but New Hampshire able to clear it out before they can take possession of the puck. Comes back to Breen, though, at the blue, main blue line. Breen coming in. Breen over to Josh Nadeau. Nadeau holding. Sends it cross ice. Penalty coming on New Hampshire as Babbage pulling Brad Nadeau off his skates. Delayed penalty situation here for the Black Bears. Breen with the puck at the blue line. Arnott now has it. Right point. Finds Josh Nadeau. Back to Arnott. Here's Brad. Also at the blue line, going in that point position. Main with the extra attacker out there. Six on five right now with the delayed penalty. Josh Nadeau fires it cross ice looking for, excuse me, Brad looking for Josh. Josh has it now. Back to Brad. One timer. A missile. Save made by Musilek. Now New Hampshire covers it up. And some pushing and shoving after the whistle and a penalty coming on UNH, one nothing Maine the score, but 54 seconds to go in the second period. Yeah, they had possession uh, again, pull the goalie because uh, with the extra attacker with the uh, penalty on New Hampshire, Maine had it in the zone for 35-40 seconds, and a blast by uh, Nadal, uh, Bradley Nadal, uh, saved by, by Musick, so now Maine's got a power play for 54.8 seconds that will carry into the second, into the third period, see if they can capitalize here. Of course, if Maine had scored with the, with the uh, uh, extra attacker, I mean, they would have still gone on the uh, power play, which is a rule in college, but not the NHL. Brazil shot off the faceoff, blocked in the slot. Behind the net, Donovan Houle. Houle sends it over to Ben Poisson. Poisson, right wing side, on the wall. Lost a handle on it. Nolan Renwick comes and picks it up. Renwick, right dot, shot, blocked, or not. Trying to get the loose puck in the slot, but can't get there in time to put a shot on net. David Brazil comes in and picks it up. Brazil's pass attempt to the top of the zone is cleared out by New Hampshire. They intercepted the pass, and they dump it down ice. Here's Victor Ostman. Ostman up to Brazil. Brazil flips it into the neutral zone. 20 to go here in the period. Puck now in the air. Arnott has it. 15 remaining. Puck in the main zone. Black Bears deep in their own end. David Brazil skates in front of his own net. Now up to the first blue line. Hands it off. Five seconds to go. Donovan Houle sends it up to Renwick. Trying to get a shot off before time expires in the period. The Black Bears cannot. We have played two periods of hockey. It is main one. New Hampshire nothing. I thought it was a little more evenly played in that period. I think Maine still had an edge in possession in offensive zone time. Uh, but New Hampshire had some chances. Of course, uh, the, the glaring one uh, with the Lavins missing the open net. Uh, but again, uh, good end-to-end -end action. Does not look like an exhibition game. Looks like a regular season game, a typical Maine-New Hampshire game. And Maine uh, just not able to click on the power play. Got to get better on the power play. But uh, Still with a one nothing lead. Austin made some good saves when he had to. Music has played outstanding for the uh, Wildcats, and it's a one nothing game with uh, 20 to go. Teams will go to the locker room here in Waterville. one nothing Maine after two periods of play. You're listening to Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. Renewal by Anderson. At Bangor Savings Bank, we understand that to deliver the best banking experience possible, meeting people where they are matters. That's how we fulfill our fundamental promise that you matter more. We are more than just a bank. We are friends, neighbors, and tireless advocates for the communities we serve. Wherever our customers are in their financial journey, we are there with them every step of the way. Dairy farmers care about the health of our communities and planet. Nationwide, the dairy industry has set a goal to be carbon neutral or better by 2050. Maine dairy farmers are doing their part by using management practices like turning cow manure and food waste into electricity, using no-till crop production to promote carbon sequestration and soil health, and doing research in cow comfort, nutrition, and health at UMaine Witter Farm to help meet the goal. At Bangor Savings Bank, we understand that to deliver the best banking experience possible, meeting people where they are matters. 
That's how we fulfill our fundamental promise that you matter more. We are more than just a bank. We are friends, neighbors, and tireless advocates for the communities we serve. Wherever our customers are in their financial journey, we are there with them every step of the way. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. Renovating or building new, you'll find a wide selection of high-performing, energy-efficient, and beautiful windows and doors at Hammond Lumber Company. Your Hammond sales representative will walk you through the showroom displays and help you choose options to create a personalized, custom look. Free in-home measurement is available, and Hammond can deliver your order from any of their locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Bring your vision and enjoy better light and added security and energy savings with quality windows and doors from Hammond Lumber Company. Achieving greatness requires setting clear goals and maintaining the proper work necessary to see them through. Success does not happen overnight. It is about a renewed sense of vision, a vision of what you want to be. Game changers see a window of opportunity and seize it. Change requires strength. That's why we've partnered with Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson offers a product you can trust, unparalleled service, and the team will be with you from the beginning of the project to installation and beyond. If you're looking for a renewed sense of vision, go with Renewal by Anderson of Greater Maine, the official replacement window and door company of the Black. Bears. Get your car hard at Miller's Workshop and Brewer for brands that work. Carhartt, it works after hours too. We've got it. Miller's Workshop, Acme Road in Brewer for brands that work. Oh, it's an absolute thrill uh, to be back here. And you miss the players so much. You miss the connection, the practices, and mostly that's what you miss, the practices, the connection, the training table meals. Of course, you love games, um, but you just really miss the relationships. And so being able to come back, um, it's really gracious of Amy to invite me back. Uh, many coaches wouldn't do that, but Amy is so confident as a coach. She allowed me to come back and on the court, work on some defenses, and some fun stuff, which brought great joy to me. And then tonight we'll celebrate Stacy. Okay, I was having fun sharing some matchup defenses, a couple of them, and just teaching and coaching and sharing that with the players and the coaches so that they can have more in their repertoire. Uh, they've got a lot going on, obviously, they've got great coaches. Um, but they were open and eager to learn, and Amy invited me to practice to, to do that. I think in this day and age, there's so much we're trying to handle. Brain health is so important, and so we talked about basics of human connection and sleep and how they care for themselves. I shared with them my personal story from Secret Warrior, being di diagnosed with bipolar disorder when I was 30, how that played into coaching. Uh, the relationship that Amy and I had, particularly at that time, where I had an issue and how she led the team and stepped up and we went to uh, win another championship that year uh, because of the leadership of the team. So I wanted them to know about connection and also wanted them to know to trust their coaches. You know, if there's, if there's an issue, someone's not feeling right, to go to the head coach and then accept the help. It's an opponent sometimes, and you can incorporate it into your life. I know for me, I have, and when I was properly diagnosed, I was a better person, I was more productive, I was a better coach. You know, I can't say enough about that. So the whole business of business of brain health and, and building your brain capital, meaning, you know, understanding that you've got heart health and brain health and getting rid of all the stigmas and some of the language that makes people feel uncomfortable. 
it's life. Your brain is beautiful and there's a lot to it and there's a lot to balancing it. The fall home sale is on at 304 Stillwater Avenue Furniture in Bangor. The furniture you've been wanting is now on sale. We're making way for new brands of upholstered furniture. Select floor models are now marked down up to 50% off. Save on sofas, love seats, chairs, and recliners. Buy an entire set and save even more. Plus, you'll find big markdowns in our upstairs clearance section. One of a kind and limited quantities. So don't delay. Come to the fall home sale at 304, where you'll always get more. When it comes to cleaning up the competition, Bananas has you covered. But when it comes to cleaning his own home, Bananas turns to Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Nice job, Bananas. Hi, I'm Norm Bouchard for Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Go Black Bears! Bananas, miss a spot. When you think of your financial future, how do you see you? And how do you see your path to success? At University Credit Union, we've been helping Mainers visualize and achieve success for more than 50 years. So do you see yourself buying a home, saving for a wedding, or freeing yourself from debt? With thoughtful solutions, great rates, and a love for our communities, UCU is here for you. Visit us at ucumaine.com. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. So I'm Kevin Ritz, Ritzy, and I am the head equipment manager for the ice hockey team. In being the equipment manager, we take care of everything that the player wears or uses on the ice, that being equipment or apparel. Uh, so I do everything from ordering the apparel based on the sizes the players want, uh, ordering the equipment based on the specs they want, and then make sure that everything fits properly, it's maintained. Uh, that involves doing daily laundry uh, multiple times a day sometimes, and then sharpening skates, uh, making repairs to helmets, shoulder pads, uh, and anything in between. The, the people are the best part of this job and working with the student athletes. You know, I've been lucky doing this as long as I have to get to know some, some pretty special alums. When I was a student uh, working with Jimmy Howard, who would come back here in the summers when I was just learning and building a friendship with him and building the trust where here's a kid just learning this and I'll ask him to sharpen skates and, and do this. And it's continued working with Devin Shore and Ben Hutton um, early on in my career. Those guys are, are very special uh, just because they were with me when I was kind of growing both as a student and then a, a staff member. What makes Maine hockey special is we are the Maine hockey family. From day one, I was accepted immediately. It's here's someone that can help the program, and that's what we're all here to do is, you know, take care of the program, uh, be stewards of it. And just being with this group of athletes that started 10, 15 years ago and moving on up to the current generation, um, just, you know, I talked to alums that I had no part in their game when they were here in the early 90s. And, it's, you're just part of the family, and that's, that's why this place is special.
Dairy farmers care about the health of our communities and planet. Nationwide, the dairy industry has set a goal to be carbon neutral or better by 2050. Maine dairy farmers are doing their part by using management practices like turning cow manure and food waste into electricity, using no-till crop production to promote carbon sequestration and soil health, and doing research in cow comfort, nutrition, and health at UMaine Witter Farm to help meet the goal. When it comes to college sports, our biggest advantage is playing at home. When it comes to our own homes, we call the official home team of the Black Bears. The Emily Ellis team at Berkshire Hathaway. And Harvey Goslin at CMG Financial. When I needed a power play to find my home, I called the home team. Call us today for all your real estate needs. We will be shooting for your goals. And we donate to the Alpha Fund on every sale. Tell, Tell us Bananas, bananas sent you. you. The mad dash to the school bus. The client presentation. Ballet, hockey practice, and band rehearsal. Followed by, ouch, who has time to dash out for groceries? Don't worry, you've got this in the bag. With Hannaford to go pick up and delivery, the fresh food your family loves is just a click away. Convenience is in the bag at Hannaford Supermarkets. So much of Maine makes power. But only you can turn it on. On high, on loud, on up. So keep on making, building, teaching, and we'll keep on powering you and all the doing you do. Verse and Power, we provide the power, you create the possibilities. Learn more at verseandpower.com. At Bangor Savings Bank, we understand that to deliver the best banking experience possible, meeting people where they are matters. That's how we fulfill our fundamental promise that you matter more. We are more than just a bank. We are friends, neighbors, and tireless advocates for the communities we serve. Wherever our customers are in their financial journey, we are there with them every step of the way. Man Hockey on the Black Bear Sports Network. And today on 1160, The Score, our newest station on the Black Bear Sports Network. We thank you for listening in Central Maine on The Score and around the world at GoBlackBears.com. Getting ready for the third period of play. John Shields along with Larry Mahoney here from Colby College. The Buffalo Wild Wings border battle exhibition style. And... Going to put a fresh 20 on the clock. A minute six on the power play for Maine. one nothing the score. Maine with the one nothing lead. Shots in this one. Maine 18, New Hampshire 12. Face off at center ice. Black Bears will send out. Lyndon Breen, the Nadeaus, and the first power play unit with Brandon Holt. Here's Breen in front. Slides through the slot. Now puck picked up. Down low, shot, score! Great pass from the far side wall. Right in front to Lyndon Breen. He tucks in the power play goal. It's 2-0 Maine at the start of this third period. And that's what the Black Bears needed to do out of the gate here. Josh Nadeau down low to Lyndon Breen, and he shoots and scores. 2-0 Maine, 20 seconds into this third period. Nice to see the Black Bears coming out quickly and taking a two-goal lead here as they have 
dominated most of the game. A better second period for New Hampshire than they had in the first, but it was just a 1-0 lead for Maine after two frames. Now here in the third, the Black Bears add the power play goal early from Lyndon Breen. Breen. Where's number 27? 33 goals in his career. 71 points in 85 games for Breen. Led the team in scoring last year. And the Black Bears take a 2-0 lead on the power play goal. Fitzgerald for New Hampshire. Near side corner. Skates behind his own net. Trying to work it up. Ice lost the handle. Turned over. Nolan Runwick shoots and it sails wide of Tyler Musilek, the UNH goaltender is now out of there, actually. Shot save made. Jacob Helston takes over to start this third period for New Hampshire. Helston in the net for UNH. A couple of saves here. Victor Ostman still between the pipes for Maine. Here's a turnover. Shot save made by Victor. I think that went through his pads, but he was out of the crease, so it sailed behind the net. An opportunity there for UNH. 18.50 to go here in this third period. 2-0 Maine. Shot sails high as the Black Bears re-enter the zone. This time it was Sully Shuley with the shot. That went high. Shuley, freshman from Minnesota, played for Prince George in the BCHL last year. Big hit back in the main zone. Now a hit just over the blue line by New Hampshire. Naomi taking that check. He hops back up quickly. Harrison Scott on the goal line. Puck loose in front. Reed Pabbage sailing in to try to connect with it, but a whistle and a hooking penalty coming with 18-12 to go here in the third period. Main two, New Hampshire nothing. This penalty on UNH. Colton Heward will go to the box. The junior from California will sit down and put his Wildcats back on the penalty kill. A versant power, power play coming here. Our coverage brought to you by Cork Hyundai with an all-wheel drive Hyundai Tucson on your team. You can tackle any obstacle. It's your journey on every mile in a brand new Tucson. Visit Cork Hyundai of Bangor.com today. UNH clears it out quickly as the power play underway. Turner for the Wildcats sends it down ice. Maine two, New Hampshire nothing. Third period of play. Again, the uh, the power play goal by Maine. Just a beautiful passing sequence with uh, Josh Neto eventually just sliding it across for to uh, Breen for a tap-in. Here's Josh Nado comes in right wing side, one-handed shot goes I think behind the, the net. Hit the hit the crossbar. I think it went over the uh, over the left pat over the left uh, arm. Then he was spun around a few times. Down on one knee. Yeah, Helson played at North Dakota last year. University of North Dakota, he's a transfer, so it gives him some depth. But Music played very, very well. Just one goal allowed on 19 shots. Impressive. Jacob, Jacob, 18 shots, I'm sorry. Jacob Helston in net for New Hampshire here in the third. Here's a shot from Cole Hansen. Save made by Helston. He holds on to it. Six feet, 185 pounds, is the junior goaltender for UNH. Wildcats down 2 nothing here. Maine with the lead and 53 seconds on the power play. Heck of a crowd, John. Just a really lively crowd. They're into it. Uh, they've seen good hockey. It's been, and again, it has not been like an exhibition game. It has been like a regular season game. 2 nothing. Maine, 17 minutes and four seconds to go in this one. Yeah, second period, John. Shots 9-7 for New Hampshire, which, again, after an 11-3 main edge in the first period, just shows that, uh, again, New Hampshire played much, much better. Uh, taking a lot of penalties. Uh, that's something I'm sure they'll want to uh, sort out before the season. Black Bears bring it in. Harrison Scott, shot save made. Wrap around, second chance. Another shot. This time, Ryan Hopkins trying to put one on net. Sales high. Hopkins now has it left wing half wall. In the New Hampshire zone, center point. Back to Hopkins, one-timer blocked by UNH. Luke Reed on the penalty kill, blocking that for the Wildcats. Hopkins kicks it over to Scott. Scott winds it around the boards. Here's Hansen. Hansen outside the right circle against the boards. 
finds Antonacci. Top of the slot, eight to go on the power play. Hanson backhands it through the zone. Hopkins plays it off the wall. Antonacci, top of the slot, shot. Save made. Oh. It's actually ricocheted. Yeah, it was a tip by Scott. And the chance, Hanson down low. Shot, Helston makes a save as the puck came over to the right wing circle. And Cole Hanson putting one on net. And Helston had to dive over to that near side post. Now some pushing and shoving here in the border battle. Now Harrison Scott is, has looked good. You know, he's been involved in, in a lot of opportunities. Two nothing Maine here, 16 minutes and three seconds to go. We're back to even strength. Here in the third period, Nolan Renwick will take the face off in the right wing circle. Ben Poisson and Donovan Hool out there as well. A look at Maine's second line on paper anyway for this exhibition. Brandon Chabrier and David Brazil at the blue line. Puck comes to Chabrier, right point side against the boards, winds it around the wall. There's Brazil, hands it off to Renwick. Renwick shot high in the zone. Save made with the glove by Helston. As Renwick got tied up with Lovett of UNH, but putting one on net. Main looking for a rebound there in front, but Helston holds on to it. So what do you think? What do you, what, what do you think so far, John? What do you like? Their speed. Yeah. This is a much faster Black Bear team than we've seen in recent history. I think the speed and, of course, the skill has improved. Donovan Hool. You, you know what goes with it? Go with that, John. I think the depth of the speed, depth-wise, too. I mean, I mean, their fourth line can skate. I mean, they're you know, they're everyone. They're all their defensemen can skate. Ben Poisson battling at the blue line now in the neutral zone. Brandon Chabrier, sophomore defenseman. He can really motor too, Larry. His feet never stop moving. Yeah. Again, he was somebody who was going to Northeastern originally. And decommitted, came to Maine, and uh, was a nice piece of the puzzle last year. Played well. Sure was. Always smiling off the ice, too. There's Brandon Holt. Lost a handle under the main blue line, New Hampshire. Some pressure towards the main net. They can't get a shot off, though. Puck right wing half wall. And Holt See, gets he it back. lost the puck, but he battled. He fought his way back into it, broke up the play, and then wound up chipping it out of the zone. He didn't give up on it. Exactly. And again, he was probably one of the most excited players out here after missing the last 12 games. He said it was very tough to watch his team play from the stands last year. And he was playing some important minutes, too, when he got hurt. Playing in all, all situations. Gagney back in the main zone. New Hampshire has it. His shot blocked, sails wide off the end boards. It comes back up to the far side post, and Osman will cover it up and stop the clock with 14.24 to go here in the third period. Main two, New Hampshire nothing. 14 minutes, 24 seconds to go in this hockey game. Uh, football final, Richmond 42, Maine 31. Maine led at one time 17 to 7. 14 to nothing and 17 to 7, but simply could not stop Richmond. Their freshman. Camden Coleman threw six touchdown passes in his second career start. Following the whistle here in the main zone, Osman covering up the puck, face off in the Black Bear end. Puck behind the net, now sent up towards the main blue line. Sent into the neutral zone. Brazil has it. Brazil using the wall and the bottom of the glass to chip it into center ice. Now dump back in. Osman. Takes the bouncing puck, scoops it up. He'll hold on to it. A ground ball is short. Victor Osman. I'm sorry, baseball hey, playoffs. Playoffs, yeah. Who do you like? Who do you like? Who's going to win it? I like the Rangers. Is that a weird pick? <laughs> My limited knowledge of the Major League Baseball playoffs. I'm going to. They blew the uh, AL West. They had a chance to win that and get a bye. But they lost at the end of the season. So the Astros wound up winning it. But, yeah, then they won their two playoff games, and, and here they are. You know, yeah, they're, they're dangerous. Franchise has never won a World Series. They've been around a while. Time out of the ice. It's Maine 2, New Hampshire nothing. 13.58 to go here in the third. We'll take a break. You're listening to Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black. When you think of your financial future, how do you see you? And how do you see your path to success? At University Credit Union, 
We've been helping Mainers visualize and achieve success for more than 50 years. So do you see yourself buying a home, saving for a wedding, or freeing yourself from debt? With thoughtful solutions, great rates, and a love for our communities, UCU is here for you. Visit us at ucumaine.com. So much of me makes power. But only you can turn it on. On high. On loud. On up. So keep on making. Building. Teaching. And we'll keep on powering you and all the doing you do. Verse and Power. We provide the power. You create the possibilities. Learn more at verseandpower.com. The border battle between Maine and New Hampshire exhibition game. Black Bears with a 2 nothing lead here in the third. Had a nice visit. Dice, always great to see former Black Bears. And uh, Dave Nonis, the former captain of the Black Bears, he's now the uh, uh, assistant general manager and senior VP of hockey operations for the Calgary Flames. And he stopped in, obviously looking at uh, perhaps some future Calgary Flames on the ice for both teams. And uh, it was great to see him. Is that who stopped by during the first intermission? Dave Nonis, yes. Oh, well, I was talking to Mike Violet right. from yep. 1160 yep. to score. And uh, Dave Nonis, okay, didn't get a chance to say hi to him. No, I, I, I'll tell you, when we get a chance, I'll, t I'll, I'll tell you a quick story about, about him um, when we get in, in, when in our next break. 13.52 to go here in the third period. Main two. New Hampshire nothing. First period goal by Josh Nadeau. Third period power play goal by Lyndon Breen. How Maine has got on the board. Black Bears in the neutral oh, zone. Poison was trying to poke it through Reed. Nice play by Reed. Poison was trying to poke it through his gates to get a scoring chance. Wildcats shot from the right wing boards, covered up by Osman. Okay, so the NCAA tournament, they used to have uh, this stupid two games total goal series. Okay, and Maine was playing Michigan State, and they got behind like 5 1 the fir after the first game. So they were still down by four goals in the second game. And they and so in the second period, Sean the late Sean Walsh pulled the goalie because they had to you know catch up. Dave Nonis was a defenseman and wound up sort of being this pseudo goalie out there. And he wound up with two or three saves uh, again, uh, just uh, again sort of being a uh, you know like a, a, a defenseman slash goalie. Uh, and Maine wound up losing the series, but uh, it was really really interesting to see him. Uh, in that role because they were desperate. And, uh, again, thank God they got rid of that format. That's a format they still use in, in uh, soccer, in a lot of soccer. Um, combined uh, combined goal yeah, 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 combined, yeah, home and away. And uh, and in this case, so it was uh, – but, again, Dave Nonis wound up, uh, you know, uh, he was kind of like the, the sweeper, <laughs> to use a soccer term. Yeah. Uh, only uh, without a goalie. Quick shot off the faceoff. Ostman makes the save. The delayed uh, delayed break there. Head coach for New Hampshire, Mike Souza, wanted an explanation about something from our uh, referees here. Here's a redirected in front. Nice goal by New Hampshire between the legs. Steven Sardarian, the Buffalo Sabres draft pick, had the puck come off the wall in front, and he redirects that one. Between his skates, a backhander past Ospin. Pretty goal there for New Hampshire. Yeah, he had his beautiful goal. He had his back to the goal, and they really haven't created many chances. But Sadarian, uh, again, Nick Ring uh, uh, threw a diagonal pass from the top of the slot, and Sadarian, with his back to the goal, just had his uh, stick angled, and the puck deflected off his stick up over the blocker of uh, uh, Victor Ospin. So New Hampshire's back in this. We got a one-goal game again. High, uh, high skill goal there. 13 oh, yeah, very to go. much so. Lots of time left in this one. Puck in the main zone. Black Bears trying to play it up to the neutral zone of the new. Cole Hansen. Puck bounces into the New Hampshire zone over the blue line. Hansen now knocked down by Trudeau. He turns around. Shot blocked by Jensen on the, sh on the shot close to the net by Trudeau. Now in the right wing circle, Pabich trying to settle it down. Trudeau there as well. Jensen has it for New Hampshire. Sidarian is a sophomore. He's from St. Petersburg, Russia. Um, last year, he, had, he played 30 career games, two goals, five assists, seven points. But that was a high-skill high goal right there, my friend. Sure was. 
right in front, put himself in front of Ostman, and it came off the boards and able to redirect it. Here's Brad Dadell, makes a move, comes in, shot, swing and a miss. How about a penalty coming? Dadell penalized as he was trying to connect with the puck oh, as he what came a move. in. What a move, made a great move on the defenseman, was in alone and then was slashed. Maine goes back on the power play. All right, Maine two, New Hampshire won the score in this hockey game, presented by Bangor Savings Bank. Bangor Savings Bank, you matter more. Looking for a change for the better? Bangor Savings Bank offers free ATMs worldwide, and their team is ready to help. Stop by Bangor.com to discover more. Bangor Savings Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. That was what you call a good penalty. Taking away that scoring opportunity. Oh, yeah. Well, it was, it was net on with the goalie. New Hampshire dumps it down ice. Power play underway here. A versant power, power play. Puck goes all the way down to the main end. Black Bears pick it up behind the goal. Brandon Holt. Holt hands it off to, to Breen. Breen skates in with some speed. Breen around the wall. Now New Hampshire clears the zone. Marty Levin's trying to go back into the main end for a breakaway chance, shorthanded, but the Black Bears too fast for him, and they get back to take it away. Brad Nadeau re-enters the zone. Nadeau trying to dump it down to Josh, who has a goal in this one. Josh picks up the puck, top of the circles. Josh will reset. New Hampshire player lost his stick. Now they get it back down to Brad. Brad, left circle to Josh. Nadeau looking at the puck, makes a move, top of the slot, trying to get down to Breen on the goal line. Breen out to Brazil. Brazil through some traffic blocked by New Hampshire. And Breen using his reach to keep the puck, uh, excuse me, Brazil to keep the puck in the zone. His extended reach due to his height. Now Josh Nadeau pulled down to the neutral zone and another penalty coming on the Wildcats. 49 seconds to go on the original penalty on Devlin. No, penalty that will on be Maine. on Nadeau. Yep. Josh Nadeau. Yep. I made an assumption because he's the one who went down, but the penalty on him. I'm not sure what the penalty was. Missed the, the indication there, but Josh Nadeau goes to the penalty box. So we will skate four on four for 49 seconds. Third period, Maine two, New Hampshire one, 11 minutes and two seconds to go in this hockey game. Four on four hockey coming. Right now, our broadcast brought to you by Duncan. Umaine runs on Duncan. Here's Donovan Hool into the neutral zone. Hool skates in. Faceoff came in the main zone. Hool lost a handle. Holt shot. Rebound off or off the boards in front. And Donovan Hool trying to connect with it. Now Hool fights for the puck. Has it back below the goal line of New Hampshire. 23 to go. Collision high in the New Hampshire zone on the boards. Puck cap in the UNHN. 15 to go on the four on four. Broken stick on the ice in the New Hampshire zone too. Here's Chabrier. Right wing half wall trying to keep it in. New Hampshire forces it back to the neutral zone. Five to go in the four on four. Third period, 10-15 remaining. Hansen out of the box. New Hampshire has the power play. And out of the box, Devlin able to try to steal that puck away. Puck dumped in by the Black Bears. Ten minutes to go in this hockey game. Maine two. New Hampshire one. LeClerc with the puck for UNH. Now the Wildcat power play enters the main zone. It's got 40 seconds to go. Breen has it. Breen, a bunch of empty ice, fires it. Yeah, he was trying to get Brad Nadeau. If he would have been, would have been Nadeau and LeClerc in a one-on-one, -on -one, but pass was uh, too far. Yeah, Breen sent it down to the New Hampshire end, so valuable seconds on this UNAH power play offside. off the clock. And an offside whistle on the Wildcats as they try to re-enter the main zone. Main two, New Hampshire one, 9.24 to go here in the period. 23 seconds to go on this New Hampshire power play. Our broadcast brought to you in part by W.S. Emerson Company and Brewer, your branded product experts. Also by Dean's Detailing. They've been Maine's auto detailing leader since 1971. Renew your vehicle's appearance. Protect your auto investment. Enjoy the ride. Call Dean's Detailing today at 945-3016 or book your appointment online at deansdetailing.com. 
15 to go on the New Hampshire power play. Wildcats with the man advantage. Maine with the one goal lead. But the puck deep in the New Hampshire end. They have to reset. Time off the clock. Devlin has his pocket picked by Harrison Scott at the New Hampshire blue line. And that will do it for the New Hampshire power play. Devlin has to go back in the zone end to get the puck. Heward, neutral zone, sends it up to Connie. Shot save May with the pad of the blocker by Ostman. Between the main pipes. Now back towards the neutral zone. Picked up by the Black Bears and a whistle. Hand pass. Hand pass on Maine. Stops the clock with 8.36 to go. Main hockey brought to you by University Credit Union, where Black Bears Bank, they want to know how do UCU open your UCU account today at ucumaine.com, federally insured by NCUA. Timeout on the ice. We'll take one, two. Two, one, Maine here in the third. Black Bears and Wildcats. This is Maine hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bears Sports Network. School spirit runs generate. When you think of your financial future, how do you see you? And how do you see your path to success? At University Credit Union, we've been helping Mainers visualize and achieve success for more than 50 years. So do you see yourself buying a home, saving for a wedding, or freeing yourself from debt? With thoughtful solutions, great rates, and a love for our communities, UCU is here for you. Visit us at ucumaine.com. So much of Maine makes power. Only you can turn it on. On high. On out. On up. Keep on making. Building. Teaching. And we'll keep on powering you and all the doing you do. Verse and power. We have the power. You create the possibilities. Learn more at verthower.com. College play continuing here. My apologies, they did not take a break, but still 2-1 Maine, the score here in the third, 7.40 to go. Behind the main net, centering pass in front, nobody there for New Hampshire to get a shot off. Lyndon Breen trying to clear the zone and a whistle at a collision. Net front, couple of players I, I'm not on the sure ice. who's getting the penalty here. I think Maine, but I'm not sure. At 7.32 to go here in the period. Taking a look uh, on our video feed at the replay here, Larry, to our left. Oh, look, it's the New Hampshire interference. All right, interference on the Wildcats. So that will send a New Hampshire player to the penalty box. So Maine, a power play opportunity to go here with 7.32 remaining in the third period. Two minutes on the clock for Marty Levins. The Latvian native, freshman on this team, has had a lot of ice time for New Hampshire, but he's in the box. And the Black Bears will get this power play opportunity after this short break. So seven minutes and 32 seconds to go here in the third period. It's Maine two, New Hampshire one. We're back to a one-goal game, Larry. Maine came out in this third period and made it 2 nothing very quickly, but New Hampshire... Yeah, Sardarian, a third, third round draft pick um, of the Buffalo Sabres, and beautiful goal. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been absolute. Maine's, Maine's carried the play. I mean, they, they've had the better of the chances. They've had more offensive zone pressure. But New Hampshire, after the first 12 minutes, I mean, has played pretty evenly with them, um, even though I think Maine is, is a little quicker than New Hampshire. That's You don't hear that very often. Usually with the big ice sheet at the Whitmore Center, uh, they always recruited speed. All right, power play opportunity here. Versant power, power play for the Black Bears. A 2-1 lead for Maine. Number one power play unit out there again. Breen and the Nadeaus. And Thomas Friel with Brandon Holt out there as well. Brad and Josh Nadeau on the ice. Comes to Brad on the boards. Brad sends it down low to Breen. Shot on the goal line off the side of the cage and a whistle as the net came off its moorings. Yeah. They'll have to reset that. Main hockey brought to you in part by OBC. The family four pack is back for tickets any hockey home game and a free kids meal with OBC for only $44. Ask for the family four pack at the Alphonse Arena box office or find it online at goblackbears.com. Main hockey also brought to you by the courtyard by Marriott and Bangor, a proud partner 
of the UMaine Black Bears. Maine two, New Hampshire one. Third period, power play underway for Maine. Minute 32 to go on the power play. Puck in the main zone, though. Black Bears trying to reset. Brad Nadeau and Brandon Holt in deep, fighting for the puck. Now Josh Nadeau coming in to help out. Right wing half wall. Puck pops up. Holt takes it away. Skates behind the main net. 115 to go. Holt. That's sends. really good work by Morgan Winters there, keeping it in the zone for New Hampshire. Brad Nadeau up to Thomas Friel. Friel sends it down to Josh Nadeau, but off the boards a bit ahead of him. Right wing half wall. Nadeau couldn't play it. The puck goes now up and out of play. So they're going to drop it in the New Hampshire zone. With 6.31 remaining here in the period. Period number three. So six minutes, 31 seconds in the hockey game. It's Maine two, New Hampshire one. A minute remaining on the main power play. Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration is a family, locally owned company. That's been serving Maine communities for over 35 years. Proudly voted Bangor's best cleaning and restoration and best cleaning company since 2015. Face off. Okay, violation, New Hampshire. If they another violation, I mean, will go on, have a two-man advantage. Morgan Winters and Cole Hansen take the face off. Hansen for Maine and another whistle. It's going to be a hook, and it's going to be on Maine, I believe. Looks like Harrison Scott. Yep. So Scott will go to the penalty box. Yeah, those are things you hate. To, you, you, know, you, don't want, you don't like to take offensive zone penalties. One goal game, main two, New Hampshire one will skate four on four for 56 seconds. Bear Necessities Fan Shop is where you can shop 24-7 online and receive free shipping. Log on to goblackbears.com slash shop. So Harrison Scott in the penalty box for a couple minutes. Maine with the one goal lead, but we're skating four on four. For the next 50 seconds now, face off in the main zone. One by New Hampshire, Fitzgerald. At the blue line, center point. Fitzgerald now sends it in. Right wing half wall. It's Luke Reed, the Nashville draft pick. Goes cross ice to Cronin. Cronin. Back to the blue line. Reed now poked out of the zone. Ring has to go back to get it. Nick Ring. Stick handles through center ice. Dumps it in. 5.50 remaining in this hockey game. 2-1 main the score. Four on four now for another 10 seconds. Then New Hampshire will have a power play. Fitzgerald at center ice. Skates through the Colby C here in the neutral zone. Pavich steals it away from Fitzgerald and dumps it in. And now a New Hampshire power play is underway. They have one minute on the power play. The puck deep in their own zone. Devlin behind his own net. Liam Devlin skates up to the blue line. Now passes it forward to Kami. Save made. Osman swatted out of there with a backhander, though. Puck in the air. I think it was cleared uh, out by Brazil. Renwick. Was it Brazil? Yeah, just batted it out of the air, out of the zone. 35 to go on the New Hampshire power play. Sardarian in the neutral zone with it. Enters the main zone. Makes a nice move. Has the lone goal for New Hampshire in this one. And it's sent in deep into the main zone. Black Bears with a one-goal lead here in the third. LeClerc, top of the zone, his shot blocked, now cleared out by Maine. That was Brandon Holt with the backhand, high clear off the glass. Maine penalty kill sends it down ice. Five to go on the New Hampshire power play. Ryan Comey tries to come in, keeps it in the zone. And a shot from Liam Devlin, save made. Victor Osman Devlin in the slot, puts the puck on net. Power play over for New Hampshire. 4.22 remaining here in the third period. The score, Maine 2, New Hampshire 1. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network. At Bangor Savings Bank. At Bangor Savings Bank. We understand that to deliver the best banking experience possible, meeting people where they are matters. That's how we fulfill our fundamental promise that you matter more. We are more than just a bank. We are friends, neighbors, and tireless advocates for the communities we serve. Wherever our customers are in their financial journey, we are there with them every step of the way. 
Achieving greatness requires setting clear goals and maintaining the proper work necessary to see them through. Success does not happen overnight. It is about a renewed sense of vision, a vision of what you want to be. Game changers see a window of opportunity and seize it. Change requires strength. That's why we've partnered with Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson offers a product you can trust, unparalleled service, and the team will be with you from the beginning of the project to installation and beyond. If you're looking for a renewed sense of vision, go with Renewal by Anderson of Greater Maine, the official replacement window and door company of the Black Bears. Back here in Waterville, Maine, Kobe College, exhibition hockey, Buffalo Wild Wings border battle matchup between Maine and New Hampshire. It's been a great game so far. John Shields along with Larry Mahoney here on the Black Bear Sports Network. Maine 2, New Hampshire 1. 4.22 to go here in the third period. We're back to 5-on-5 five five hockey here in Waterville. New Hampshire in the main zone with the puck. Trying to keep it in, but they lost a handle on it. Linder. Lewis Linder at the main blue line. Couldn't keep it in the zone. Now a whistle back in the New Hampshire end. Niemo was able to get a piece of that with his stick. Preventing New Hampshire from breaking the puck out. 4.06 to go. Again, perfect situation for both teams. New Hampshire really needs this game as far as uh, to get ready. They play BU next week. Their openers against BU. Pick to, win the, uh, pick to win the national championship, actually. Here's Harrison Scott. Shot below the right dot. Save made. Second shot. Pad save made. A blocker save made. Excuse me. It was a pad save for the New Hampshire goaltender. A couple of nice saves in a row there. It's going to be a tough test for New Hampshire to start things off yeah. with them. Yeah, at, at the Whitmore Center next Friday at 8. Maine opens Thursday and Friday with RPI from the ECAC. Uh, ben Barr's alma mater, Maine head coach. 3.30 to go. Coach Barr, year number three is underway for him. Shot, score, New Hampshire in front. We have a tie hockey game. Nick Ring lights the lamp. We're all tied up at two with 3.24 to go here in the third. Yeah, I mean, they, they haven't had nearly as many chances, but they've been opportunistic. A nice pass out from behind the net. Ring uh, positioned to the right of Victor Osman and just flipped it far post. All right, tied up at two. Let's see what the Black Bears do to respond here. New Hampshire trailed 2-0. Well, it's that, that line uh, for New Hampshire. Caffarelli, Ring, and Sardarian that scored both goals. Maine had a 2-0 lead scoring early in this third period on the power play goal, 20 seconds in. Now New Hampshire, the Wildcats have scraped and clawed their way back into this one. Puck. I mean, we should have expected. I mean, they played two ties last last year. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do today if they're playing overtime or if it goes overtime. In the neutral zone now, Renwick trying to settle it down in the New Hampshire end, but the Wildcats have it. Fitzgerald, he's checked into the boards in front of his own bench. Here's Josh Nadeau in the neutral zone, hands it off to Brad. He comes in, makes a move, top of the circles. Brad redirects the puck, shot sails high. But a nice move by Brad Nadeau, top of the slot. But New Hampshire clears it out. 2.25 remaining here in this hockey game. We're tied up at two. Would you expect? Oh, great chance. Great yeah. chance there by Conmey. Missed the net. Gagney for New Hampshire. Sends it far side. Now back to the blue line. Shot. Save made from the point. New Hampshire has it. Heward sends it down low right to David Brazil, who flips it up. Ice breakaway chance. The Nadeau's in. Holding. Shot. Score. Josh Nadeau from Lyndon Breen. Breen to Nadeau. And Josh Nadeau scores his second goal of the game. Maine takes the lead back. It's Black Bears three, Wildcats two. Boy, I'll tell you what. Beautiful goal. What a massive blunder by UNH. They all got caught below the dot. I was a flipped out of the zone. It was a 2 on 0. There was nobody from New Hampshire in the same county. And again, uh, again, a nice pass by Breen over to Josh Nadeau. And nothing, uh, uh, nothing the goaltender could do there. Nothing Helston could do. I mean, I don't know what happened to New Hampshire, but 
Um, obviously, they got people trapped uh, deep in the zone, and I don't know. Did we see who got the who flipped it out? Whoever flipped it out, it was just Nadell and, and Breen. They were like ten feet apart, and there was nobody around. Puck sent in. Helston flips it over to the corner after it went in his glove. And now, behind the New Hampshire net, minute 35 to go. Josh Nadeau, a pair of goals in this one. Reed for New Hampshire, skates into the main zone, but near the boards. New Hampshire's got to think about pulling the goalie here. And they soon. have. Minute 21, Helston on the bench, but the puck goes out of play. So he'll take a seat. Empty net for UNH. Did you see? Did they give you who got the assist? Lyndon Breen. He's got. He had the only. No. We'll I have to wait and get the. Oh, official. he had the assist, but so, whoever flipped it out. Somebody flipped it out of the zone for Maine, and 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 it was a two on zero, and there was nobody from New Hampshire anywhere near the uh, near the puck. UNH calls a timeout here. Buffalo Wild Wings border battle. Log on to goblackbears.com slash border battle all season long for special offers. Buffalo Wild Wings, Wings, Beer, Sports. Our coverage also brought to you by Renewal by Anderson, the official replacement window and door company of the Black Bears. Time out for the Wildcats to discuss this situation they're in. Main three, New Hampshire two. Minute 20 to go here in the hockey game. Empty net for New Hampshire. Great crowd, and they got their money's worth, didn't they, John? <laughs> no doubt about it. Maine, New Hampshire, would you would you want anything less no, than this? No. What was it? 2 2, nothing, nothing last year. Again, they'll play three times this year, twice in Durham, once in Orono. New Hampshire opens. Home to BU next Friday. Maine home to RPI on Thursday and Friday. Face off in the main zone. Extra attacker on the ice for the Wildcats. Sounds like it was Felix Trudeau who flipped that puck in to start that Breen and the Doe breakaway. Here's a backhanded shot by Ben Poisson between the circles. That was Nobody in net blocked by the, the Wildcats in front. Yeah, that was Sy Clerk with the block. All right, 51 seconds to go. New Hampshire with the puck, down by one. It's main three, New Hampshire two. Empty net for the Wildcats here in Waterville. Exhibition hockey. Here's Ostman behind his own net as New Hampshire sends it back in. Josh Nadeau has two goals. New Hampshire, shot tipped high, a diving. Ben Poisson sends that puck into the netting. Josh Hand with the shot. Yeah, we just, John, we just got, sorry, we just got affirmation from Sam, um, uh, from Sam uh, that it was uh, Trudeau. Trudeau with the, with the flip. So Felix Trudeau helping to start that breakout for Lyndon Breen and Josh Nadeau. Breen one goal, Josh Nadeau two. And it's 3-2 Maine here in the third period. 27 seconds to go. Empty net for New Hampshire. Exhibition game here in Waterville. They put some time back on the clock. 29 seconds. Comes out of the zone, though. Back to center ice. New Hampshire trying to re-enter the zone. Tommy sends it in. Right wing half wall. Picked up by Maine. Black Bears trying to flip it out of the zone. Kept in by... The Wildcats at the blue line. Ten seconds to go. Shot save made. Ospin, big juicy rebound on the slot, but nobody there for New Hampshire for a second chance. Wildcats keep it in the zone. Two seconds to go. Puck down low on the wall. Shot stick save made. Ospin, time expires, and Maine wins the exhibition. What a, what a terrific exhibition game. I mean, it was like a, a regular season game. It really was. It was a great pace, um, good perform, a really good performance by both teams. I thought Maine really was a better team early. New Hampshire uh, much better, played much better in the second period and then was pretty even. I mean, I, I think it was a valuable exhibition game for both teams to go into the regular season. Exhibition hockey here in Waterville and this game was a charity game, went to a great cause. Yeah. Larry, we should mention that. We should. Yep. Again, uh, the Alphon, Alphon Youth and Community Center 
here in Waterville is a 501c3, a nonprofit organization. Wonderful. Merged yep. with the Boys and Girls Club and YMCA in the United States. Uh, so uh, they they do great things here in this yeah, central do. main area. So the Alphon Youth and Community Center is the benefactor of this game, and it, and it was a great contest. Well, we'll this was such a terrific event, for, especially to expand to, to Central Maine, where there's so many UMaine fans. I wonder if this will be a, a regular. I wonder if they'll they'll do this on a regular basis. Have to wait and see. Wildcats and Black Bears put on a great game here this afternoon in Waterville at Kobe College. Josh Nadeau, the freshman, scoring two goals. Lyndon Breen, the captain, scoring one. Maine gets the win. Black Bears three, Wildcats two is our final in this one from Kobe College in Waterville. I want to thank Larry Mahoney, my broadcast partner. My name's John Shields. Our whole crew here in Waterville on the TV side did an excellent job with their stream. We appreciate their efforts and thank them. For our radio side, our post-game show kicks off after this timeout. You're listening to Maine Hockey from Van Wagner on the Black Bear Sports Network.